Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to change our text label, our answer text label, and we're going to make it a um, text box. Now you guys should remember text boxes. In fact, it was only two tutorials ago uh, we were working with a text box in level two. Now we're going to be working with a text box for level three. We're so let's go over and I'll just show you guys I'll, I'll tell you guys the main point uh, to doing this so right now if we make this visible alright it's bright it's good looking because I chose all the colors uh, you guys didn't you guys should never go into like fashion or anything just an idea um, but Imagine if the answer to this question was like 32 or something even higher or even well lower than zero. It would take a lot of time to click this button a hundred times or 32 times or whatever. Um, so if you want to make your game more flexible, make it faster for the user you can and more innovative for the user. You can also just add a um, and make this a text box so people can type in their answer. However, the problem with this is you also have to make sure that their answer is formatted correctly. You have to make sure it's an integer or a number. You have to make sure that it is a number. That's the number one concern, and that's what we what we will be working on mostly today. However, we are going to spend some time copying our answer text labels data and throwing it into our new answer text box. So um, let's get started. Alright, now for the scripting. So in the script, we're going to make a new function, a new connection uh, for a changed event with our answer. So answer dot changed, sorry, connect function end. Alright, so the reason we're changing it, or the reason we're just using answer right away is because we still named this answer, so we don't have to change our answer variable up here. And I think I have insert on. Yes, I did. All right. So now we can go down here, and this is where the scripting and the main part part of this uh, tutorial begins. So I'm going to show you guys a new function. It's called to number. Basically, what it does is it will read a string that you put in as a parameter. And if it is in fact the number that's in the string, no letters, nothing else but a number, then it'll take your number and it'll throw it in, um, and it'll take your string and it'll throw back a number. It will return a number, uh, the number represented in the string. However, if it isn't a perfect number inside the string, it'll return nil, which nil is not, it's nothing. It's not equal to zero. It's not equal to negative something. It's nothing. It's the idea of nothingness while still existing enough for us to know about. So it's really just, I, I don't know how to describe it besides it's nothing. So let's go back into our answer that change. And we're going to use an if statement to double check that our, um, the user has entered a number. So if two number answer that text does not equal nil then. So we're making sure it doesn't equal nil, we're making sure it's actually a number. And then we're going to simply change our answer int into two number answer that text if we do that it'll be very simple to just grab the number throw it out and now the user can work much faster in their quiz and hopefully have a much better 
more fluid experience. So we're going to try this out. If it loads fast enough. All right. So I I really should get rid of that tool. It just gets in the way every time. So we know we can still hit this. It's still working like it used to. However, there's one problem we I always forget to fix this first. Change it to invisible first. Now we can test it. Um, and we won't have any bugs for me to have to explain. And we're going to save time because I was probably going to end up redoing it if we had a bug. So we'll click, we'll click play after I get rid of my tool here. There we go. Click play. Uh, we know the answer is 4. We know this is bballer 13 sn I mean, the question kind of makes it obvious. Uh, and now we can test this again. So as I said, this is working like it used to. But the answer to this question is 2. So let's see if it actually works. 2. Submit. It worked. We're still getting the error we're used to, and that's because we do not have a level 4, and that's because we intended to not have a level 4 yet. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video, and I'll catch you guys later.